Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Hillary. I'm an ER nurse and I run a small business in Ontario, Canada. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I started my small business two years ago, where I am now, and I'm gonna include some tips in here for any aspiring entrepreneurs that are wanting to start a small business. This has been such a highly requested video, so I am super excited to film this for you guys and just be able to finally kind of tell my story on how I started, how I was able to end up where I am today. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Let's rewind to October of 2020. I knew that I wanted to start a small business and even prior to 2020, I have always been very entrepreneurial and I have like pretty much owned little businesses like since I was probably 13 or 14. I was making like hemp bracelets, like hemp necklaces and I was selling them. That was kind of like my first ever small business. When October of 2020 came around, just kind of after the initial first wave of COVID, I was working as a nurse at the time. The first thing I did was just research. And I looked in to see like how I would want to structure my small business, what I would want to sell. Ultimately, I decided that I wanted to sell candles. And and so in October of 2020, Waxing Crescent Candles was born. So I started off at first with opening up an Etsy shop and opening up social media accounts just so that I can kind of start following the people that I needed to follow and kind of get my name out there. So that was the first thing that I did. So after being on Etsy for a few months, I then decided that I wanted to move everything over and have my own website. So I opened up my own website called WaxingCrescentCandles.com. That was kind of when I started branching out into wanting to do more more things than candles. After running Waxing Crescent Candles for a few months, I decided that I wanted to kind of expand what I was selling and open it up to more products. And so I rebranded and I changed my name to Waxing Crescent Wellness. And I kind of became like a wellness brand at the time. So I was doing like bath salts, soap, candles, self-care products. And I really enjoyed making the products and I enjoyed selling them, but it got to a point where I wasn't super passionate about what I was doing. And I just felt like it wasn't a scalable business for me and it wasn't something that I could actually see long term and so I knew that I wanted to run a business that kind of matched my personality and matched my life and kind of matched my passions but I knew that it needed to look a little bit different and so that is where Her Crescent and Co was born and so I ran the idea by my friends and my family and that is kind of where apparel got introduced. I have a best friend named Mackenzie and she had a little small business at the time where she was doing clothing sweaters, t-shirts, all of that, you name it. And she really helped me in the beginning with kind of just being a mentor for me and helping me. And so I bought my first Cricut and that is really when things kind of picked up for me. I was over the moon excited to get my Cricut and just start playing around. It was kind of at that moment that I knew this was the right fit for me because I was so passionate about it. And I love that I've been able to marry my nursing passion and my passion for like creativity and art and just put it together and make this beautiful little creation that is Her Crescent & Co. So let's fast forward now to January of 2022, which was just this past year. And I had gotten my first viral video on TikTok. I was very consistent with TikTok and it wasn't until my first video went viral, I just, lost it. I just remember sitting in my basement on the floor crying with like all of these sweaters around me that needed to be made. And I was like, oh my God, like I can't do this. I, I did it. I got over it. I shipped everyone's orders out. Like honestly, it was not a big deal at all. I made it very dramatic for myself at the beginning because it was just like such a shock factor for me. I ran out of space. I was at max capacity in my basement. I needed to relocate. And so in February of 2022, I moved into this office and that's kind of where her Crescent & Co really took off. So because my business has grown so much, I've been able to take a step back from my nursing job and take my small business full time. So it is such a surreal thing to think, but I am so grateful for every opportunity that I've had, for every door that's opened, every door that has closed. I am now going to share some tips and some tricks that I have learned along the way to help any entrepreneurs that are wanting to start a business or maybe you have a business already and you just want some fresh tips and a different outlook. So my first piece of advice and tip number one that I have for you is probably the most important tip that I feel like I could ever give 
anyone <laughs> that is wanting to start a small business. And it doesn't seem like it's something that matters that much or is very important. But trust me when I say this is probably the number one most important thing you need to consider prior to opening up a small business. Start a business that you are genuinely passionate about and a business that matches your personality. If you start a small business about something that one, you're not passionate about, or two, you don't know how to market or how to talk about, then it will not go anywhere. Everyone has their own unique talents and gifts that they have. It's a matter of figuring out what yours are and how you can start a small business that you will not only be passionate about, but one that also matches who you are as a person. Because when you're building a business, it's not just about sales. And this is a little bit of a controversial topic and people can disagree with me on this. I don't really care. It's also about the brand and the person behind running the small business. You eventually will run out of content ideas. You'll run out of product ideas. It will feel very random and it won't fit with your life. It won't fit with your personality. I'm speaking from experience because I had two businesses prior to this one that I was not passionate about. I did run out of content ideas. I did run out of things to talk about. I ran out of ways to market myself because I wasn't in it. My head wasn't in it. My heart wasn't in it. I knew that this business was not for me. Moving on. Like I just ranted about that like so hard <laughs> because I am so passionate about that first point. Like it is such an important thing to consider. Moving on to tip number two. So tip number two kind of ties in with my first tip and that is be yourself and stand out in your own way. If this tip is not like tied for first, it is a very, very close second. This is something that will also make or break your business. Anyone can wake up tomorrow and start doing what I'm doing. And people have, to be honest. <laughs> Being yourself and standing out in your own way is literally the only piece that you have to differentiate yourself from all of the other people that are trying to do what you are doing. The difference between you and all of these other businesses or all of these other people wanting to start a small business is you are you. This has literally been my mantra. <laughs> like running my small business. I remind myself of this every single day. This is something that has resonated with me so much. Doing this small business, I have encountered people who have stolen my designs, taken my art, taken my ideas, sell it as their own, copy the things that I am doing. Why this tip number two is so important is because you have to stand out from all of these other people. Some of the things that I have felt that I didn't wanna share with people or that no one would care about about, people wouldn't like have become my most popular products or have become my most popular videos or have been the reason I've been able to connect with so many people. Being yourself online and really standing out on social media is a huge separation between all of the thousands of people that are trying to do the same thing right now. And so last but not least, my tip number three is it will not be perfect right away. Nothing will be perfect right away. Running a small business business is entirely trial and error. The reward that you get from running a small business is so much greater than all of the trial and error. I have gone through so much trial and error. I can't even comprehend the amount of roadblocks and speed bumps and car crash explosion volcano situations <laughs> that I have been in. Looking back, I laugh on it now, but like there were not funny times. Pretty much nothing about my journey as a small business owner has been perfect. You are not going to be perfect right away. You are not going to have the most perfect filming stuff, the most perfect lighting, you know, the most perfect setup. It's a matter of building to get to a point where you see progress, where you see change, where you've grown. It's not about being perfect. So those are all the tips that I have for you guys. I am so happy to share my story with you and I really hope that I've been able to help someone else out there that is either wanting to start a business or has a business right now. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. So if any questions about starting a small business or things that I've talked about in this video, then definitely leave everything in the comments and I will do my best to answer everything for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Bye! I'm trying to film a YouTube video right now. Is this an inconvenient time for you? It's not snuggle time right now. <laughs>